Hey guys, so this tiny little thing is the Lexar Professional Go portable SSD with hub, and it completely changed the way I use my iPhone. Let's ramble. Hold up. Hey guys, so I've been using the iPhone 15 Pro Max for like about a year now. And before that, I was using the iPhone 14 Pro. And before that, I was using the iPhone 13 Pro Max and so on and so forth. Now, if I'm being totally honest, the iPhone hasn't really been evolving that much, at least not the last few years. Holding and using an iPhone 13 Pro Max doesn't feel that much different from holding and using an iPhone 15 Pro Max. But there is one reason I do upgrade every year, you know, aside from the fact that I'm a tech channel and it's kind of my job, and that is the camera. I don't care what anyone says, but the iPhone still has the best camera system of all smartphones, especially when it comes to video. Now the iPhone 15 Pro Max introduced something that for me as a video creator was kind of a big deal. And that is the ability to shoot ProRes video in a log profile. I'll explain why that matters. The cameras on these phones have been pretty great for a couple of generations now. And as a creator, there's always moments where I really need to get some quick footage, but I don't have my actual camera with me. But I do always carry my iPhone with me. And having that video camera in my pocket at all times has saved my butt more than once. The problem has always been that the iPhone footage looks, you know, like iPhone footage. And it's very difficult to make that match the rest of my footage that was actually shot on cameras. So the quick iPhone shots, as convenient as they were, they always stood out a bit. Now, the ability to shoot in a flat log profile gives me more space to play around with the colors and the look of the video in post-production, which means I can match the look much better to the rest of my footage, almost to a point where most people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And to have something like that in your pocket at all times is a big, big deal. Now, having said that, there are two huge caveats to that. One is that the ProRes log files are massive. And since the iPhone's internal storage is limited, it means that I can only shoot in this profile for a short amount of time, you know, before my iPhone will run out of storage. The second caveat is that in order to shoot ProRes log at 60 frames per second, which is what is needed to get those smooth slow motion shots when you're editing your videos, you need to have an external storage device connected to your iPhone. Regardless of the space it would have taken up on my phone, which is insane, it is simply not possible to shoot 60 frames without an external storage device like an SSD. Now inside this little Lexar pouch lies the solution. You see, as you can imagine, having an SSD dangling off your phone doesn't exactly make for an ideal setup. In fact, I remember a video of a fellow YouTuber, Sidney Dyongson, who actually said it best when the iPhone just launched. And the fact that you can film in Apple ProRes log is so cool. But I mean, to be fair, I don't think the normal sane person would ever film ProRes log and have some sort of SSD hanging out of their iPhones. I like, I mean, that's, that's kind of silly. Now I tried to come up with solutions to this problem. I even Frankenstein this contraption out of a phone case, an SSD and some Velcro tape. But yeah, you're not gonna carry that around with you, which kind of defeats the purpose. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Lexar was kind enough to send over a brand new solution to this problem, and it's been an absolute game changer. This tiny little thing is actually a one terabyte SSD drive, and it even comes in two terabytes as well, same size. And as you can imagine, this changes everything. And combined with this hub and this little accessories pouch, the possibilities are endless. Let me run you through it. I mean, the size is just nuts. This is one terabytes of storage, all wrapped up in a 43.5 times 25 times 8.25 millimeter design. And all you have to do to turn your iPhone 15 Pro Max into a ProRes log recording beast is this. It instantly increases my recording time in its highest settings to more than 70 minutes, up from seven minutes, and that wouldn't have even been 60 frames per second, it would have been 30. Now that alone would make this thing a worthwhile purchase for me, but there is way more to this thing than that. Now, while it's totally fine to stick this thing straight into the iPhone's USB-C port like that, my favorite way of attaching this thing is by using the male to female USB-C adapter that comes with this package. It basically relays the USB-C port so that the SSD sits flush against the back of the iPhone. And not only is that a much more secure way of using it, I mean, there's virtually no chance of knocking this off. It also serves as a little finger grip, which I really like. And since you can flip the SSD over, you can actually choose which orientation provides the best grip for you. And the best part is that I don't need to take off my phone case. Let me just put my case back on, at the SSD, and boom. Super secure, nice little grip, and this means I can record for over an hour in the highest setting. 
Now, before we move on to the hub and the additional use cases for this thing, I wanna highlight a feature that is easily overlooked, but that makes this SSD even more valuable to me. We already talked about the massive file sizes you get when shooting in ProRes Log. Now, because they're so large, transferring them from your phone using AirDrop is a non-starter. Now, Apple did give us a USB-C port, which is a lot faster, but it still takes a long time to transfer all of these video files using image capture on the Mac. What I found to be much, much faster is to use the SSD to transfer even the videos I shot onto my iPhone's internal storage onto the SSD by using the Files app, and then simply plug the SSD directly into my MacBook, and boom, files transferred in no time. Because of the 3.2 Gen 2 high-speed interface and the high read and write speeds of 1050 and 1000 megabytes per second respectively, lossless recording and fast file transfers are guaranteed. Now, of course, if you're shooting log footage in 60 frames per second, that footage will be shot straight onto the SSD anyway, which makes the process of getting it from your phone to the computer even shorter. Now, because the SSD is so light, you can easily use something like a gimbal with the SSD attached without any issues. No cables or complicated rigging needed. Just plug and play, stick your phone into the gimbal, and you're done. The same is true for these phone rigs. I like using these rigs a lot. The iPhone is quite small to hold, and so it's easy to get a bit jittery, shaky footage. These rigs make it feel a lot more substantial and they offer additional balance. Now, when I am using a rig, I usually wanna hook up some extra stuff to the USB-C port, maybe a light or an external battery to keep the recording going. That is where this little hub comes in. The hub has two additional Type-C ports on board, one of which is a 30 watts power delivery fast charging port that can be used to connect a battery bank while the SSD is connected to the main USB-C port on the iPhone, leaving the second additional USB-C port open for accessories like lights or microphones. Now the hub can also be used in combination with this adapter cable to mount it onto the cold shoe, leaving the USB-C port open for accessories again. The cold shoe adapter also has this quarter inch screw on top, which again can be used to screw on different accessories. So really it is up to you how much you wanna rig out your iPhone. It can literally be as simple as plugging the SSD straight into your iPhone all the way to a full-blown smartphone rig. In the context of this video, we've been focusing on the iPhone. Needless to say that this SSD also works beautifully with a MacBook. It's super small, and like I said earlier, it goes up to two terabytes, so really no reason not to carry one of these little guys in your tech pouch. And if you have a computer with fewer ports, like a MacBook Air, for instance, you can use the hub to use the SSD while expanding your ports at the same time so you can keep your MacBook charged while using the SSD and still have a port to spare for additional accessories. So yeah, what can I say guys? To get this much storage in such a tiny package designed to be used with the iPhone, but with a plethora of alternative use cases as well, seems a no-brainer to me. I'm impressed. If you wanna check this thing out for yourself, there will be links in the description below the videos. And guys, I hope this video is useful. If it was, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.